were dealt a huge defeat when they were pretty much controlling Ukraine and it just got taken away from them. It should be Russia kelp 7% of the country in a devastating blow to Russia. Instead, it's like, oh my gosh, those warmongers. If you, Alex, you should support nuking them. And that's what the Ukrainian parliament's calling for, nuclear war. We're on the march. The empire. And if you're not for run. nuclear war, you're racist. Alex Jones. Obama said so. Radio I Network. agree with him. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off super male vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Yeah, that's some creepy music. That's the music they play whenever the snapping turtle comes out at night and goes around... Washington, D.C., looking for liberties to eat. Imagine the snapping turtle, Michelle Obama. Just... Wearing a red dress. All right, I'm screwing around. I've noticed that seems to happen. At 1.33 every day. By this point in the show, I think I'm overloaded with all this news. And I just want to screw around at that point. I mean, Obama saying nukes are the number one threat and all this. You cue that up, please. 
and just all of what that means makes my head spin, doesn't it, you? All right, that's enough. Hey, will you guys queue up uh, the uh, the birth of Obama videos? Have you, did, did, did you guys see that from the, the TV show V that we did? And then the second one comes out and the tongue shoots out and I go, Joe Biden. That is a pretty funny video right there. We ought to play the thing where I did Cobra Commander too. I'd forgotten I did that. That's a pretty funny video where I endorse Cobra Commander for president. Because everything Cobra Commander stands for is what our government now stands for. So why not just endorse Cobra Commander? And people on the YouTube video keep asking, who is he interviewing? Who plays Cobra Commander? It's me. I am Cobra Commander. I am the leader. Also the voice of Starscream. I am the leader, Megatron. <laughs> so having a little bit of fun uh, here on the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. They are chasing the lawyer around the office to get him on to talk about um, the fact that he's now representing a lady who is trying to be able to have her own off the grid system. But the courts are trying to say, oh, no, you have to be hooked in the power system. So while that's being lined up, look at this article out of the dailycaller.com upon infowars.com. Media Matters inexplicably attacks Fox News for using the term homosexual. Well, yeah, I mean, Michelle Obama and others say you don't use the word bossy because they're bossy. They're bossing you around. They're in control of reality, the snapping turtle. And you're going to do what they say or you're racist or you're anti-woman. I mean, are we not sick of these people with the fake moral high ground constantly, continually lecturing us? I mean, is, these are not liberals. And I know I beat that dead horse to death, but I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, anyone goes around telling me what to do and telling me they control reality and I'm bad. Those people are out of my life in about two seconds. And I, the problem is with this government and these corporations, I cannot get them out of my life. They are just constantly grabbing more power. Media Matters, the website of choice for Fox News haters everywhere attacked the cable news network on Monday using the term homosexual in a programming, advancing their particular argument that the scientific term was pejorative. Yeah, you get arrested in England, BBC reporter Robin Page, we had him on the show, got arrested. And he, by the way, isn't even really a conservative. When he said rural communities deserve the same rights as Muslims and homosexuals. Folks, heterosexual, homosexual, those are just names for a sexual persuasion. You know, if you say that a woman is heterosexual, that means that she is for the opposite sex. If you say that she is homosexual, that means that she's, I guess, homogeneous or to her own group. I mean, that's why people think the word Caucasian is racist now or Negro. I actually have been in a bar years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, when someone ordered a Negro Modelo and someone actually said, what did you just say? Negro just means black in Spanish, folks. I promise you. It has nothing to do with black people. The beer is like Guinness. It's dark. That's why you call a light beer blonde because in German, that means light. I promise you. I promise you the word bossy, you know, just means anyone being bossy. It doesn't mean putting down women. And they all know that. But if they can set the precedent to shut things down like that, they can do anything. Now, we do have our guest on the line, and I'm very excited to get him on. Uh, we played earlier the local newscast, it was also on CNN a few years ago, where he successfully got a court to foreclose on Bank of America because they took a million-dollar house that they had never even had a note on that was paid for in cash, showing the fraud. And usually judges and lawyers aren't able to get, get justice, but this happened in his case where they had to pay for the lawyer fees and more, and they refused to pay, so they went in and started taking it out of the cash register with the deputies. And that's how the courts are supposed to work for the people. That is justice, and if we had more justice, you couldn't have that in this country. But now, now our guest is back. Talk about a Superman lawyer, um, attorney 
Todd Allen of gad-law.com. Here's the article from infowars.com. Woman fights for sovereignty after judge declares living off grid illegal. And more and more under zoning, even if you live in a rural area, they say you've got to be hooked in to the power grid or they send out the little inspectors. They want to keep you dependent. Uh, so uh, he joins us now, right now. Todd Allen, thank you for coming on. Uh, tell me the latest on the banks first, because I know you're fighting in Florida and other areas successfully uh, against that tyranny. And then shift gears into the latest, the war on putting in your own off-the-grid power. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for having me. So, yeah, we've been fighting the banks quite a bit here in Florida. The foreclosure nightmares have uh, been crazy here. Uh, running all over uh, the courts uh, and the rule of law. And so I think we finally got that under wraps, and, and now I'm excited to be representing Robin in this uh, current case. Break it down, because I see this even in Texas in more, quote, what you call liberal areas, but it's also in conservative areas where they won't give you the zoning permit, and if they see solar power or, or a windmill, even on your rural area, inspectors will show up in some cases. Some counties aren't like that. Uh, tell us about this case. This is frightening. Yeah, this one's particularly disturbing because uh, the, the city of Cape Coral uh, doesn't have any code restrictions against uh, solar power. They're requiring her to be hooked up to the grid in addition to having solar panels. So it's it's a redundant system that the city is requiring. Uh, it's requiring her to be hooked up uh, to the grid without, even if she does have solar power. And there are a number of other issues, whether or not she can use rainwater or be hooked up to the city sewer. So we're, we're fighting the city really on a, on a three, uh, three individual arguments addressing sewer, uh, water, and power. We've prevailed on uh, sewer and power, uh, just fighting the water issue now. Well, I looked up this particular city, and it turns out they even had debates years ago in their city council about Agenda 21, which is globally written, corporate standardized uh, policies that are designed to make people be in the grid on the system. Uh, and, and, and so it's basically rent seekers trying to force people into their compact cities. I mean, I know that you're just specifically dealing with the private property issue, uh, but I thought we all need to be sustainable. Uh, what do you think is really behind this? This is, uh, you know, the the old saying, hell have no fury like a woman scorned. This is hell have no fury like a city scorned. Um, what happened is the city got embarrassed. Uh, their code, code enforcement department got caught on their uh, flat on their feet, and they're embarrassed. And now they're pulling at all the stops to ruin this woman's uh, ability to live the life that she wants to live. And so we're really fighting the city on a, a number of different uh, fronts uh, just because she wants to live a particular way. The city is... is trying to control how she lives and, and is trying to enforce uh, code restrictions that are inherently uh, conflicting to each other. So, What else are you seeing uh, with the code enforcers gone wild? We see cases now where they don't want people to have gardens in their backyards, don't want uh, garden boxes in their windows. And we're not talking about folks that have opted into some uh, you know, homeowners association. We're talking about cities are annexing rural areas telling farms they can't have chickens. I mean, this is out of control. What do you think's behind it, a power grab? Uh, it's a power grab, and it's a, it's trying to, you know, sit down, and uh, the city's trying to control how the people live their lives and, and really intrude on uh, private property rights, dictate how you run your household, how it looks on the outside, and how it's run on the inside. Uh, it's just more government control. It's something our founding, founding fathers fought against. Oh, you just said founding fathers. Guys, delete that, uh, that FCC violation. <laughs> Sir, that's part of the seven deadly words. You can't say freedom, can't say father, can't say founding fathers. That's like, oh, oh, del oh sorry. D d yeah. Did you guys uh, uh, delay that? I'm sorry. I, I, I keep forgetting those are now not authorized. Sorry. <laughs> Have you heard Michelle Obama says you can't use the word bossy? I, I've heard that, which is funny because I've been called that as a lawyer. Okay, Todd. Well, don't promise you're not going to use that word, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's out of my vocabulary now. I've never, I, I yeah. think you could even use the word bossy in North Korea. <sighs> <laughs> hey, whatever happened with that case with Bank of America where you foreclosed on them? Uh, they ran away pretty quick, ran to the table after we showed up at their, their, their branch with the moving truck and the sheriff. They came calling pretty quick, and then uh, they actually assigned a lawyer in Washington, D.C. to be in. 